So I've been conducting some experiments to try and determine what a 7 inch single is made of. Is it made of PVC or is it made of styrene? I did this because I had a number of discs that looked like styrene, that felt like styrene, that sounded like styrene, but everyone else said they're PVC. So I started by um, baking some of the discs and um, this is the result, <laughs> some very distorted discs. Three of these are PVC, one of them is styrene and the uh, more informed amongst you will be able to tell immediately which one is styrene and it's this one YMCA and I can tell it's styrene because it's got the typical badly glued on label the others have all got fairly um, well attached labels the thing to note from this test is that the PVC discs wilted at a temperature of a about 70 degrees centigrade. Um, the YMCA disc started to sag a little bit when we got up to about 85 degrees. Now in theory PVC's glass temperature is 70 degrees is 80 degrees and the glass temperature at styrene is 100 degrees but the discs have probably got plasticizers in them, uh, which is why they, they started wilting rather rather sooner. It's also worth noting that the PVC discs um, went very, very floppy indeed once they started to wilt, whereas the styrene um, still held its uh, shape, even though it had... Um, distorted. My oven couldn't actually get much above 90 degrees so maybe if I'd gone a bit hotter the styrene would have melted but this is a very destructive test but at least it does establish conclusively which disc is which. There is another test that we can do um, which is the copper wire test. So I have a handy piece of copper wire and a uh, blowtorch and in theory if I heat up the wire and then um, rub some of the plastic on the wire if it's PVC the chlorine in the PVC will react with the copper in the wire and produce a distinct green flame and this will not happen on styrene. So here we go. There'll be quite a lot of noise from the blowtorch. So if I um, torch up the, the wire, and you can get it really red, and there's some colouring of the flame uh, as the wire goes red hot, but not a lot of colouring. If I then um, perhaps rub that onto Joe Cocker, that will have now smeared some PVC onto that. Um, this is where we see, oh, not very green. Let's try again. There we go. Classic green coming from, and eventually it burns off and the green color goes. So now I'll rub that on styrene and no green, no green flame. PVC, green, oh, let's try it again. There we go, lovely green flame. And even the smoke coming off the, the, the disc causes the flame to burn green. I uh, just do that. And... 
the green is is is, is from copper chloride copper chloride um so it's the chlorine in the disc reacting with the, the copper of the wire and you know we just don't get any coloring at all from the styrene again it's a destructive test but pretty conclusive to differentiate between these two plastics ah, that's the end of the chemistry lesson for today